Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Shoe Snob Unboxing Videos, One Take Wonders. Here we are again with another set of shoes. Well, these are actually boots to take a look at. All right, we've done herring a couple times now, but well, we've done them once, we've done shoe review, and now we've got another uh, unboxing to do on one of their latest models. One that is different, if you know me at all, if you follow me, you'll know that I've never talked about this type of style. Uh, I've never in reality been a huge fan, but I thought I'd give it a try. Heron does some designs that I like, so I thought maybe because they're English, you typically see the style I'm gonna show you on more kind of Italian influence brands. But being that this is a more British influence, it's a little bit more classic in nature. So uh, here we go to talk about something different that you've never seen me speak about before. All right, Heron. So what we got here is the Pelham model. Uh, boxes. Uh, always have good things to say it's a nice beautiful blue box with a nice texture I actually really like it uh, I think they are some of the nicest boxes I've seen especially for this price point it's actually very high quality compared to the price of Heron shoes so uh, the Pelham model and I got a UK six and a half F F being their standard width for their English range um, so some might think that is an E Americans might say that as a D. So bear that in mind. I know these things can be confusing, but let's take a look. Again, no details go without thought. You got Heron's logo uh, inside, excuse me, inside the, uh, in the lining of the box and the lid. A nice touch, great, uh, great details as always. You always get a little kind of, um, info sheet with Heron, which I think is super smart. Talks about how to return the shoes, talks about shoe care, talks about your order. I mean, they really go above and beyond. It's no wonder that they're so successful. Uh, it tells you recommended models, very smart. It tells your order, got your got shoe care instructions. Comes with a suede brush because the arts are suede. This is new that I didn't see last time, but here is what looks like a 10% off card. Um, nine X nine excellent excuses to invest in hair and products got a QR code you get 10% off gives you the code as well Dang, they just really are uh, ahead of the game with their details that they put inside each pair uh, and, and I'm jealous in reality got a shoehorn that comes standard now let's take a look packaging uh, pretty simple a little bit of protection um, a little bit more protection would be good, especially because they are boots and big and they do mess around inside in the shipment. All right, let's take a look. I'm just gonna pull them out, both of them. I've commented on Heron's bags before. They're nice, they're big, they're nice cloth. Uh, they're, they're on the thin side, they're not lined, but uh, overall they're, they're a nice bag. They're not, uh, there's nothing to complain about them. All right, so the Pelham model. Here we go. I hope you guys can see that okay. Obviously, I'm trying. I got landscape videos, portrait videos. I got a complaint here, a complaint there. So I'm trying to mix it up to do the best video I can where it doesn't look silly on YouTube. It doesn't look silly on Instagram. So I've decided to stick with landscape style videos. And uh, I know some of you like close-ups. So what I'll try to do is just stand so that you can actually see the model here. So... Again, this is called the Pelham, the Pelham, and this is a zip boot. Now I've never written about, spoken about, or even liked a pair of zip boots. I guess that's that shoe snob in me that's always been a fan of classic design and style by nature. For me, a zipper is not classic. It's a modern invention of laziness. That's how I've always thought of it. They probably won't like me saying that, but I gotta tell you how I feel. Now, on the other hand, I'm not gonna lie, when I worked at Nordstrom back when I was 21, I had zip boots. I had a pair of Taboot New York zip boots that I wore to death and I loved them. But as I moved to England, I became a little bit more conservative, a little bit more classic, a little bit more true to what I thought was the, uh, I don't know, snobby nature and style, the more Victorian, the more what I felt was real. Uh, I gravitated towards never creating shortcuts on designs uh, for functionality purposes. So 
Hence why you've never seen me really write about lazy mans, because it's just another way to cheat, in my opinion. I'd rather just freaking lace my shoes than have a slip on Oxford, which to me makes no sense. Again, there are, have been some that I've admired and I've spoken about them, but it's not my first inclination to go towards. So same with the zip boot, but these caught my eye because they are classic, you know, they're very classic. So what Heron has done is blended a classic idea with a modern feature. Um, and so, you know, again, I'm not crazy about zip boots, but I think these are cool because they almost give off like a Balmoral Chelsea look, you know, if they have this little side kind of feature here that you could in theory see like some, some, some gore, some, a gusset for gore. Uh, and it could have been a Chelsea boot. If they did that, they could have put it on both sides. It would have been a little bit challenging to open this, but Again, this gives off a different look than most zip boots. Most zip boots are super long Italian style uh, boots with the long last, they're quite rock and roll style. You don't usually find classic shoes with zippers. So that's what I found these to be quite unique because I feel like they can break the mold and potentially change the mind of a person like me who is not a huge fan of zippers, likes the classic look, and so they've done a good job of blending the two to create that classic model, but with the zipper. Zipper boot fans should love them because it's a win-win for them. They get an elegant boot. They got the zipper that they like, goes on easily. Um, and yeah, so this is part of <coughs> Heron's British made range. They have several different ranges. They have Portuguese made, they have British made. Um, and this is a part of their British made range. You can see here, I wanna say, at the factory is Chini. Um, great job for the price. You have <coughs> beveled waists here on both sides. You have good, uh, good detailing. I don't see any kind of visible flaws or anything to really note in reality. I imagine that the suede comes from Charles Stead, uh, a British, British channery. Most British factories will work with the British tanneries if they have one. Um, Charles Ted being the most famous and popular of the bunch. <coughs> Solid boot. Uh, I can't remember the price to be honest. I want to say they are around $400. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely boot to be honest. And it has, I'm not going to say I love zippers now, but I do like these. I think they're great. I love black suede. Uh, I've become a huge black suede fan in the last years, mainly because, <laughs> and while I talked about not being lazy with zippers, I've become lazy in, in polishing, you know, I polish shoes for years as a professional and, and then I got so tired of it that now I just want to wear suede all day so I never have to think about shining my shoes again. Um, so I love suede, black suede for me is elegant because it's so deep, it's so rich in color, it's, it's so black and it looks for me great to wear with most things. So uh, I love this model. Again, it's called the Pelham. Now, uh, Heron was kind enough to provide me a set of their shoe trees inside the boots, but these don't actually come standard. So I do have a, a gift for you though. As a shoe snob supporter, if you want to grab a pair of Heron shoes, boots, anything on their site with obviously has to start with a, a, a boot, you can use the code H S tree and that will get you a, uh, a free set of shoe trees with your shoe or boot purchase uh, so yeah here's a little uh, a little thank you from Herring and from me for supporting the channel uh, again lining is nice quality uh, let me just quickly speak on the size so I got a six and a half F Again, for those of you in the US, maybe you don't know what F means. F in some British degree can either mean normal or wide, depending on the maker. Again, there is no set rules on what anything is, to be honest. What a, what a UK 7, what a US 9. These things are interpretations given by the maker. There is no universal set rule. Anybody can claim whatever they want their shoe to be. I can say my shoe is a, a UK uh, 7. And then that same exact like length and width and everything, it could be a UK eight in another brand. So again, 
What you guys got to remember is when buying a pair of shoes, check their size guide, do a quick Google search on, search on like shoe comparisons and understand that don't just assume that because you're 10 in one brand, you're 10 in another. Just because you're E in one brand, you're E in another. Do you a little bit of homework. But let me just quickly touch on this brand. The F and Chini is the standard. So the F and Herring would be the standard. These fit in a six and a half. I tried them on briefly before doing the video and they fit like the size that I need. They're a little bit full in the toe box. I have a narrow foot, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't take a, a size down. It, it's actually good because it allows me to wear uh, maybe like a light wool sock, which I prefer with a pair of boots. Uh, I save my thin cotton socks for the summer and my loafers. So anyway, size is true. So uh, true to most other bench grade models. When you get into the hand grade realm, sizing becomes tricky. Hand grade shoes are way more, uh, how do you put it? Finessed in last shape. So they're far more contoured. They're far more snug and hugging. So then they usually run small. These run standard. Uh, UK six and a half fits like US seven and a half. Uh, for those of you who know US sizing, again, Heron goes above and beyond. They're impressing me. I love uh, their creative team is smart. I think this is a good design. I think it's cool. You know, again, I wasn't crazy about zippers, but I think it works here. Um, I think it gives like this kind of classic rock and roll edge. You know, I could see myself, you could see yourself wearing these, you know, with a leather jacket or you could wear them with a flannel suit. It's, uh, they're a cool boot that I think can go many different ways. Now, again, with the unboxing videos, it's just to give you a touch, a, a brief introduction into the model, into the brand that I will, that I will soon make a further, a longer, not longer, but more descriptive kind of write up on how I feel about certain key elements like fit, quality, leather, overall, etc. with more picture heavy posts on the shoe snob blog. So the YouTube channel is great to get just an introduction to something, an unboxing video, but if you want to get further in depth into the specific pair with more detailed shots so you can get a, a, a feel better for the boots, do be sure to go to the Shoe Snob blog and subscribe there so you can see, you know, you can get the best of both worlds. You got the quick videos and then you got the longer, more detailed, intricate posts that give you far more visual, I guess, with close-ups into the actual shoes or boots uh, in question. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I hope this video is okay for everybody because this is how I'm gonna keep it. I'm, I'm changing video style and everything. <clears throat> I think this works best. Obviously, it's not the best for Instagram, but it's better for YouTube. And mainly this is for the YouTube platform and the blog and for things that are all landscape. So, hope you guys have a great day today. Remember, for a free set of shoe trees with your purchase, the code is HSTREE. I'll put it, uh, I'll put it anyway. I'll write it out for you guys. Have a great day. Enjoy. If you like this boot, again, it's the Pelham. It's P-E-L-H-A-M. It also comes in a nice brown suede, but, you know, black is cool. So, wishing everybody a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to share the love if you enjoyed this video. Maybe you got some friends who would enjoy it too. Subscribe. And, yeah, I'll be back for more. I got a lot of, actually, I got a lot of boots in the lineup, considering as boot season, boots and shoes. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Lots, lots to come.